soon as Donald Trump took office, he set about sabotaging Gateway by halting all administrative approvals on completely bogus grounds. He said he wouldn't even negotiate on Gateway until there was money to build his wall. He shut down the government for weeks. When he invited me into the Oval Office to try and force an agreement to build the wall and then maybe Gateway, I had a few choice Brooklyn words for him. No effing way, Mr. President. But what I couldn't have anticipated then is that the person who would replace Trump would happen to be the best possible person anywhere to move Gateway forward, Mr. Amtrak himself, Joe Biden. <laughs> who was able to transform the cruel illusion of Trump's so-called infrastructure week after week after week into an infrastructure decade that will be funded by the amazing $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure investment and jobs act that we passed into law. And we're going to build this infrastructure decade, where are union folks, with tens of thousands of new good paying union jobs, all unions. All good paying. We love you. As Majority Leader, I made sure that the bipartisan infrastructure law included formulas and allocations that will provide ample funding for Gateway thanks to this historic $292 million investment led by the President, passed by my Senate and House colleagues. Gateway is finally leaving the station.